Among the beautiful garden displays at this year's Hampton Court Flower Show was the Anton Chekhov Garden, which provided a tranquil space filled with medicinal crops and flowers. The garden has now been relocated to the Calm Valley Integrated Centre for Health in Devon. We sent Donna Bernard to its new home to find out how the new recipients are benefiting from it. At the Culm Valley Integrated Centre for Health, you're just as likely to be prescribed a gentle stroll in the garden and a dose of nature as medicine. That's because its senior partner, Dr Michael Dixon, advocates a new approach called social prescribing. It requires a link worker who can really understand that person and then the link worker having a whole range of volunteer and voluntary organisations that might make a difference to that patient beyond the pills and potions I can give. So it's very broad if you like, it, it depends on the person in front of you and it depends on what their, their concerns or you know, their issues are. The focus is on the centre being part of the community with patients taking the lead. They can sample alternative treatments in an intentionally relaxing environment, hence the importance of gardens. The Anton Chekhov Garden, previously at Hampton Court, has been transplanted to Devon, where it can now be enjoyed by Cum Valley residents. This garden was first created as part of a project to provide welcoming, relaxing places of retreat in a healing environment for both patients and practitioners. The Russian author himself was a medical man who sought solace in gardens. I know for, for him, uh, gardens were deeply important to uh, his own spiritual well-being. So we're hoping that this is a garden that's going to provide people with beauty and tranquility, a place to come and rest. If I have somebody who has a lot of anxieties and stuff like that, um, sometimes just coming to see me is, is quite a challenge for them. But now I have the option of actually we can just go and sit and take a walk out in the garden and it's a whole, it takes it out of that clinical environment. The water below glinted unsociably. There were sandpipers flying about, squeaking mournfully. And somehow the atmosphere down there always made you feel like sitting down and writing a sad ballad. Lady Sophie Windsor was introduced to Dr Dixon by His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and is a big fan of the centre's approach. I've seen a couple of very dear friends for whom normal pills and potions have not really conquered the problem. They've masked it but they haven't conquered it uh, and they've sought help outside the box with solutions like Michael's offering. The gardens are also home to many herbs and plants the centre uses to make folk remedies, championed by world-famous herbalist Simon Mills, who's long been at the forefront of complementary medicine. We very focused on self-care and on the ability to giving people back the reins, if you like, on running their health with the remedies to hand, which were mostly plants. So I see patients uh, regularly and many of them come because they've run out of choices and so they're looking for something that might offer them a new way. Jane Sattery had sought help for her chronic fatigue in vain until she discovered an alternative therapy called Joe Ray via a self-help group. There's no other groups like this in the country that we know of, um, so I wouldn't have found it anywhere else. And it was good that the GP had mentioned it and guided me towards um, trying some alternative therapies myself. We're very privileged to have a surgery, and in particular Dr Dixon, who are championing this approach of uh, social prescription. Could social prescription be part of the cure for the NHS? Michael Dixon believes he's not alone in his unorthodox approach. There are pockets all over the country of doctors and patients who want to look differently, who realise the current system isn't working. At the moment it's not sustainable and will go into meltdown if we don't look at some of the traditional ways that doctors worked. Back to nature, back to self-reliance and back to community-based mutual support. Going back may prove to be the way forward.